Hey P3s, good to see you. It's Miss Short here. I'm going to read a book today that's one of my very, very favorites, one of the first books that I bought for my daughter. It's called Red Knit Cap Girl and the Reading Tree by Naoko Stoop. And it's just a really beautiful story about um, friends coming together and, and actually it inspired the tree that's in our classroom. So you can think about that while I'm reading it. Red Knit Cap Girl and the Reading Tree. <clears throat> it is too hot to run and too hot to play. Red Knit Cap Girl and White Bunny find a shady spot to read. Can you see that? Squirrel wants to show them something, but he won't tell them what. You'll see when you get there, is all he will say. So Red Knit Cap Girl and White Bunny scamper after Squirrel. Where are they going? I wonder where they're going. What? Uh, what a big oak tree, Red Knit Cap Girl says when Squirrel points. Not the tree, Squirrel says. Look inside. Let me see. I wonder what's inside. Red Knit Cap Girl looks inside the hole in the trunk. That's what I wanted to show you all, Squirrel says. It's a nook. What's it for, us bear? Red Knit Cap Girl listens to the leaves rustling and feels the soft grass under her feet. She looks again at the nook. I have an idea, she says. I wonder what she's thinking. What do you think she's thinking? Red Knit Cap Girl puts her book inside where it will stay safe and dry. I will keep my book in this nook so that everyone can read it, Red Knit Cap Girl says. I will keep my book in this nook so in this nook so that everyone can read mine too, White Bunny says. I will too, says Squirrel. Great idea, Bear Cheer. Cheers. Hedgehog is too excited to speak. He just squeaks. Eek, 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 eek. How nice. They're all sharing their books. It's nice to share. The birds swoop down. We have something to share too. Looks like they have a newspaper. I don't have a book, Beaver says sadly. He wants to share something. Hmm. Then the beaver gets an idea. I think he's going to do with that lock. What do beavers do? What do they use their teeth for? You know? He gnaws and hauls with his teeth and thumps his tail until he's built a strong bookshelf. Look at that. They're all helping making this nook into a little library. Everybody admires it. The next day, Deer brings his book to the nook. Duck follows with her book. Turtle has so many books to share that she carries them on her back. Can you see that? Everyone's bringing books to the nook. Sly Fox doesn't help. She sneaks around the back of the nook. And when she thinks no one is looking, oh, how silly they are leaving all these books here for me to steal, she says. And then she takes one. All right, Sly Fox. That wasn't a very nice thing to do, was it? The other animals bring more books to the nook. They read every day until the air turns clear, crisp, and cold. It is autumn now, too cold to sit around the nook. Snuggle under these, the sheep say. <clears throat> They've made warm wool blankets for everyone, and the nook is even cozier. Isn't that nice? Wool comes from sheep. All summer and all fall, Owl and Moon have been watching Red Knit Cap Girl and her friends. Now it's almost winter. Days are shorter and dark comes earlier. Owl and Moon talk in hushed voices about what Red Knit Cap Girl and her friends have done. We can help too, Moon says, and she tells Owl how. They work all night long. Look at the moon shining her moonbeams down on the owl so the owl can see what they're doing. Is that neat? In the morning, Red Knit Cap Girl and her friends see that Owl has made for them. Red Knit Cap Girl reads the sign out loud. Library, she says. A library is a place where anyone can borrow a book. Red Knit Cap Girl winks at Sly the Fox, who shyly smiles back. Look at that library. Isn't that fantastic? All that work they did together. And what, I, what do you think that Sly Fox is thinking right now? That night, Moon shines her light on the book nook and every and all the friends read. Sly Fox returns the book that she took and Red Knit Cap Girl reads it out loud to everybody. 
Thank you, red mitt cap girl, says the little ones who can't read yet. Thank you, deer and bear and birds, duck, squirrel, hedgehog, beaver, sheep, turtle and turtle babies, sly fox, owl, white bunny, and moon. Thank you for making our library, says red mitt cap girl. It's good to share books. The end. You can see why that's one of my favorites, because I love books. Hope you enjoyed it, P3s. We'll talk soon.